Wow, didn't expect this at all whatsoever. Sony has bought Bungie. They saw what Microsoft did for Activision and Bethesda, and they were like, hey, you know what? Since we're, since people are buying things now, you know what? Hey, what, what's that one company that made that used to make those uh, Xbox games? Ah, Bungie. Call up Bungie. Make them an offer. Bungie, hi, this is Sony. Today, I feel like buying you, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let you be your own thing, but we're just gonna own you. You guys are still independent and whatnot, it's just that we're just gonna acquire all the assets of you, okay? Problem? Um, Sony, hi, Bungie. You see, there's a problem with that. 3.6 billion dollars. So, <laughs> like, bro, bro, you got Microsoft dropping 70 billion. It's incredible that these companies are now buying these developers. Bungie will remain an independent subsidiary of SIE. Bungie will remain a multi platform studio with the option to self publish. Bungie will still maintain. D2 working on Destiny franchise expansion and a new IP. One community multi platform Destiny 2 will stay on all current platforms and expand to new platforms. Self published creatively independent, Bungie maintains full creative control and publishing independence of the Destiny universe. Same game everywhere. Every player should have an amazing Destiny experience no matter where you choose to play it. Let me see the comments here. Mighty Keith, ain't no way. <laughs> like, he just shocked. I don't, like, he's not like, you know, a fanboy of anything. He's just, you know, he's just a gamer like me. He's normal, pretty much. I'm just like, wow, like, he's shocked too. And he got Sweet Peaches Games. Sorry if this is a stupid question, but does this mean Sony can put old Halo games on PlayStation. There's no way they paid three billion just for Destiny. Yes, you're right. It is a stupid question. Come on now. Come on. I mean, would it be cool <laughs> if somehow Microsoft was like, um, no, it's not gonna work. Um, Microsoft owns all the rights to Halo. What Sony gets, however, is one of the best FPS developers in the history to work on their future projects. It does say a lot though, that Sony and Microsoft got to acquire all these developers, studios, all this stuff, but yet Nintendo has been themselves for a century. <laughs> Nintendo has been themselves for a century and yet everything's fine. Like for Nintendo, they made the same games and people are still buying them. Like, like Cameron says here, the fact Nintendo is able to operate almost completely independently with its own studios for decades now and still be the third largest video game publisher is a testament to how quality their products are. King of Boo says, so they bought one whole game. <laughs> it's a flex though. They have the creators of the best Halo game. Not really a flex, lol. They dropped Halo and made Destiny. That's a self burn. To be fair, they were never gonna make a better game after Halo 2. That was the peak gaming. Wow. Even though I heard a lot of people say Halo 3 was the best one, I don't know. It is what it is. Tomato, tomato. Microsoft could buy and sell Sony 10 times over if they wanted to, but uh, they could buy, but they're not. They're not. I'll be shocked if, that's, if, that, if that happened. If there were no antitrust law, exactly. This is the big strike back for Sony. Bungie makes Destiny and what else? You're at the like they can't just make another vi another game anytime they want. Of course they can, but making a good game and making a game are two different worlds. We all know how that goes. Still though, they're not just the Destiny guys. They can make another game anytime in the future, even if it sucks. Yes, but why would a company buy another one to make a sucky game? Hopefully they continue to grow and give us all good games to play. Back and forth here. Anyone fears that they overpaid for this? Bungie can absolutely help Sony get a multiplayer FPS developed for PlayStation in place of COD. 
Leave it Okada is forever going to be on both platforms, so it's not going to matter. Uh, but uh, they all, all they have right now is Destiny 2 and nothing else. 3.6 billion seems kind of steep for that. Uh, and then P has a reply, a reply here. One of, if not the best first person developers, Destiny is one of the biggest online games, made the best Halo game, smart move by some. Apparently, they also want to buy more studios. Still think, maybe Kojima Productions. Alright, monopolization again. This sucks just as hard as when Microsoft did it. Well, Microsoft started the war. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, hmm, about that. <laughs> Sony acquired Zipper Interactive, Gorilla, Naughty Dog. Yeah, Sony has acquired a lot of developers for the last decade and a half, honestly. It's not like Microsoft, Microsoft doing it now. They're, they're low key catching up in that ballpark, in my opinion. Like they're catching up in that aspect of acquiring other studios and stuff. I mean, yeah, they had Rare, they had developers, but problem with Xbox that I only have is that they don't use them to the fullest degree. They were like, let's make Kinect games. Ain't nobody trying to play Kinect games. Come on, bruh. <laughs> Crash is with Microsoft and the creators of Halo are with Sony. We live in strange times. And then someone had to re respond. Marit had to respond. Actually, no. The majority of the people that work in Halo are right now with 343. Almost nobody at the start of, Be of Bungie Halo worked there. And then Steve is asking for source. And then Jen had to respond. It's common knowledge. Most left or stayed with Halo since a lot of it gets a lot of news, especially the big names like Joseph Staten, Marty, Frankie. Uh, if you do a basic search of pretty much every person from classic Halo days, I think only Jason Jones is there. I've kept up. Oh, and Michael Salvatore is still at Bungie, but it is it is mostly new peeps. The boys are firing back. Let's go. True, although that's more like slapping someone in the arm after he broke a chair on your face. Still a very interesting move, though. It's funny that Crash is now under Microsoft and the creative Halo is now under Sony. It's very ironic, to say the least. Oh, this been looking for this Sony fanboys I've been waiting for this Sony fanboys spending 20 years shit talking Halo and how it's bad then pumped about the company that made Halo but that's not the company that made Halo anymore it's just the name no one who worked Halo pre Bungie slash Microsoft split is still at Bungie so I guess what people are saying about Bungie is that like, it's not the same like everybody's gone case but either way it's crazy that sony has acquired bungie 3.6 billion dollars that's crazy but hey it is what it is so let me know if you care to comment go ahead uh what do i why do i feel like sony ponies or sony fanboys are gonna be like this is a w mad w for sony they're clapping back whatever whatever in reality, bro, Sony already has the good studios because of the games that they made in the past. So I feel like acquiring Bungie does what? I mean, yeah, they have pro one of the best, if not the best, according to people in the, in the comment section. That again, this is Twitter after all. Uh, Bungie, the best FPS developer. But in the end, whenever stuff like this happens, whenever a big company acquires the company my first question is always all right what you gonna do with them are you just gonna acquire them and then left it leave them to die you're gonna buy something and not it's like it's like when the little kid saved up his allowance and then he goes to the kid that has the toy that he wanted you know he bought the kid he bought he bought the kid you what he bought the toy from the kid and i was like eh i don't want it no more i wasted my money like is this what's is that what's gonna be with Sony? Like is Sony just gonna buy it and not let them do what they wanna do? I mean it did say here that they're independent subsidiary of SIE, right? So it will remain it will remain a multi-platform studio 
with the option to self-publish. You got Jim Ryan here, Jim Ryan on the Bungie acquisition. Bungie's successful track record in multi-format uh, multi publishing and live game services will assist us in realizing our ambitions to take PlayStation beyond the console and increase our potential audience. Well, but in the end, let me know in the comments what do you guys think. If you care to comment, Sony acquiring Bungie. W or L or you don't give a damn. <laughs> let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for watching. Click the subscribe button for more. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out. Later.